Welcome to our second lesson on percent, fractions, and decimals. We're going to do a little bit of conversion of fractions, decimals, and percentages. And we're going to actually sometimes make two steps, like in this case. What we're going to do here is we're going to convert this fraction to a decimal, and then from a decimal to a percentage. All right, so we're going to take two steps. The first step is to convert 3 over 5 into a decimal. We do that by dividing. We divide 3, 3 divided by 5. And we know that 5 cannot go into 3, so we put a 0 up there. We're going to just add some zeros here. Th 5 goes into 30 how many times? Well, 5 times 6 is 30, so 5 goes into 36 times. There. And we have no remainder. So the fraction of 3 over 5 is equal to 0 0.6. Now that we've converted our fraction into a decimal, now we are going to convert our decimal into a percentage. By moving the decimal place over two spaces, one and two, and we have to have our placeholder of zero. So 0 0.6 is equal to 60%. All right, that is one way to make a fraction to a decimal to a percentage. All right. We're going to do another one just for fun. And this one here is a little bit more complicated, but that's all right. We like, we like a good challenge, right? OK. So if 7 over 13 means 7 divided by 13. And 13 goes into 7 zero times. When we add a 0, 13 goes into 70 five times. 5 times 13 is equal to 65. Now we do some subtraction here. 70 minus 65 is equal to 5. All right, we have some remainder, so we want to add another 0 there as a placeholder, or we can just draw it down into there and say, how many times does 13 go into 50? 13 goes into 50. We're going to guess and say probably about three times. 3 times 13 is 39. And 50 minus 39 will give us 11. So that means that we guessed properly because our number is less than 13, but greater than 0. So that means that 3 was the correct place for there. We'll bring down another 0 here. And 110, how many times does 13 go into 110? Probably 8 or 9 times. We'll say 8 times. And 8 times 13 is equal to 104. OK, so we guessed right again. Um, and we could go one step further than that if we want. Um, add one more zero. And have 60 there. Last time, we knew 13 went into 70 five times, so it's going to go into 60 probably four times. Four times 13 is 50. Hold on, four? we subtract that, we end up, or 52. 52, I'm sorry. 52. I'm running out of space here, so I'm trying to focus on how to do that. And 52, we end up with 8. And we've run out of space, so that's fine. That's farther than we needed to go anyway. We've written our fraction of 7 over 13 as a decimal, 0 0.5384. And we wanted to write that as a percentage to the nearest tenth. 
So to change the, fra the decimal 0 0.5384 into a percentage, that would be 53.84%. When we change that to the nearest tenth, that means we leave one place after the decimal. It's a 4, it's 8, and then a 4 because 4 is less than 5, we would just leave it the way it is. We're not going to do any rounding up. We're approximately equal to 53.8%. All right, so 7 out of 13, let's say you score 7 out of 13 on a test, that means you got 53.8% on that test. See, this is, this is a helpful and useful tool, All right? Hopefully, these lessons are helping us get more than 7 out of 13 on test, but if not, we're at least knowing how to find out what percentage that is. Let's go on to the next one. If we're changing a percentage into a decimal, that's going to be our first thing there. And we did this yesterday, and we've done this before. 65% is written as 0 0.65 as a decimal. All right, for percentages, what that means is it's 65 hundredths or 65 out of 100, so we can just write that as a decimal, 0 0.65. Getting quick at knowing 65% is 0 0.65, that's something that's um, it's essential to do if, if you're going to go farther in decimals and fractions and things like that. Being able to just say, oh, 65, that's 0.65. And that's something that, that it comes more quickly with time, but definitely something that's worth practicing and looking at. Now we're going to change this percent to a decimal and then into a fraction. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We know 30% is equal to 0 0.30 or 0 0.3, we don't have to write that three, the 0 on the end. 0 0.3 is equal to 3 over 10, right? Or we could have written at this point 30 over 100 and then reduce that down to 3 over 10. But 3 over 10 is the fraction in its lowest terms, so that was writing a percentage into a fraction. Moving this direction is a lot quicker than moving from a fraction into a percentage. Okay? When we write 30% as a decimal, we just change it here, and then we write it into a fraction. We just remember that if it's in the tenths place, it's over 10. If it goes into the hundredths place, then you would say this full amount over 100. And that is it. That's about all there is needed to know right now for percentages, decimals, and fractions. Have a wonderful day.